Hi, good evening. Well, yesterday we had uh, discussed about various methods of cultivation of crude drugs, right? So we had discussed about three methods, uh, sexual, asexual and then asexual. So in continuation to that topic, today we will be discussing about uh, the various process involved after cultivation. So today we are going to discuss about the post cultivation process of crude drugs. So once the crude drug got matured, so what and our process we are going to do is the step one will be collection or harvesting and step two will be drying of that crude drug what we had collected then there will be a gobbling and last step will be packing. Right, we will see one by one the step one collection. The collection of crude drug has to be done with almost care since much admixture of foreign substance or other plant parts happens at this stage. So in general the adulteration of the crude drug happens during the collection process. So when we are collecting the crude drug the adulteration or mixture of other plant parts or foreign substance or sand or any other material takes place. So it's an important step during which we have to take utmost care to confirm that we are collecting crude drugs of good quality. Right? The crude drug is to be collected when they contain maximum concentration of active constituents. So we all know that what we are collecting is parts of medicinal plant which is going to be used as medicines, right? And the chemical constituents present in that particular crude drug is only going to be acting as the medicinal agents. So when we are collecting the crude drug, we should confirm that the plant parts contains maximum amount of chemical constituents. So we should choose the time or else the climate during which we have to collect so that it contains maximum concentration of chemical constituents. Understood? Right. Trained or skilled laborers are needed to collect the crude drugs without any adulteration. So as we discussed earlier, adulteration takes place commonly at this step. And so we have to use skilled laborers or else trained laborers so that the crude drugs will be collected with proper care and it will be of good quality and there won't be any adulteration okay so the general collection criteria for each plant part so if you are going to collect rhizome then we have to collect when their aerial growth ceases so when the leaf and other aerial parts of the plant stops then we can collect the rhizome. Oh, for example, uh, if you take a, uh, what to say, a ginger. So when the uh, leafy growth or else the aerial growth of the plant ceases out, then we can collect the ginger rhizome so that, so that the ginger rhizome contains maximum amount of chemical constituents. Okay. So these criteria has to be followed so that what's the crude drug we are collecting contains good amount of active constituents. So if you are going to collect leaf, it has to be collected before the plant reaches flowering stage. So as we know that the plant has a vegetative stage and then a flowering stage. So once it starts the flowering stage, ultimately the leaf growth stops. So before the start of flowering stage, if you collect leaf, then leaf will be of good quality and it contains good amount of constituents. Right. Certain leaves like aloes can be collected when it is sufficiently thick. 
and if you are going to collect flower it has to be collected before pollination or before full expansion before pollination means if it starts pollination then majority of flower starts to become a fruit so that the constituents content decreases so that we have to collect flowers before the start of pollination and box will be collected in summer and sometimes in rainy season in rainy season we will be collecting so that it can be stripped off easily since bark will be of very uh, tougher to strip off from the tree it will be generally collected in rainy season and uh, it also collected in summer season it's believed that in summer season bark contains good amount of constituents and if you are collecting fruits depending on the type of fruit which means if you are going to collect ripen or unripen fruits uh, based on what you are going to collect the color of the fruit matters when you are collecting so if you are going to collect the unripe fruits when it is dark green before starting the ripening stage we will be collecting it right so these are certain criteria which we have to follow when you are collecting the crude drugs okay if you are going to collect roots it should be collected in spring before vegetative growth stops and if you are going to collect any unorganized drug it has to be collected when the particular plant part is matured and thick right so if you are, suppose if you are going to collect uh, acacia tragacanth then the stem or wood what you are going to incise has to be matured one so that we could able to get maximum amount of particular substance from that part and also the crude drug contains good amount of constituents okay the bark if you are going to collect the bark it can be collected by uprooting felling or coppicing so the tree can be uprooted and then the bark will be stripped off or else we will be cutting a certain part then we will be stripping off the bark which is called felling then coppicing means we will be cutting by leaving the tree from a certain height from ground level so from ground level we will we will leave the tree to a certain height then we will cut off so that new branches and many branches will come off and what and all bark we are getting in those new branches will be stripped off which is called coppicing okay next step harvesting so this has to be done or this will be done efficiently if you are using skilled laborers why i mean skilled laborers know how to collect it how to properly collect it how to avoid adulterations so that we have to use skilled workers if you are going to collect root we should use certain mechanical device if it is a flower or fruit part then we should use a seed stripper to collect it properly if you are going to collect any insects insects we can use the method called as brushing we will be using a brush type apparatus to collect those insects right so after harvesting the next step will be drying so we have to dry it to remove the excess moisture present in that particular crude drug so to remove the moisture content of that particular part what we had collected we will be doing drying why we have to remove the moisture moisture content means if the drug contains more or moisture content then it may leads to deterioration or it may leads to microbial growth so that we have to dry it properly so before marketing the crude drug it has to be done to prevent microbial attack and contamination so before packing those crude drugs we have to dry it then only we have to market it so that it won't have any microbial attack right so this drying process can be generally divided into two types natural or else artificial so in natural drying we will be drying the plant part or unorganized drug what we had collected in sun so it will be dried in sun either we will be drying it in the direct sun or else we will be drying it in the shade okay 
in artificial drying we will be drying that particular plant part using certain drying equipments as like tray dryer spray dryer drum dryer or vacuum dryer something like that okay the next step will be garbling so garbling dressing dressing of the particular crude drug will be called as garbling what's mean by dressing is so after drying we will inspect the crude drug we will clean it we will remove the sand or other foreign matters or other plant parts so removing all these things and making it still pure a quality one still a quality one is called as garbling and the final step packing so the packing material differs based on the nature of the crude drug so based on the crude drug what we had collected the packing material goes on changes for example harder parts like roots wood are generally packed in gunny bags right if it is an organic drug like aloes aloes will be generally packed in goat skin whereas tolu balsam will be packed using kerosene tin cod liver oil will be generally packed in light resistant container right uh, whereas uh, drug like cinnamon uh, which will become quill when it is dried it will uh, rotate and will become quills right so we will be packing it as compound quills then we will be packing it so based on what's the plant part we had collected and based on its nature the packing process and the packing material differs right so this is the general post cultivation process what we will be doing after cultivation so first we will be collecting where we will be using skill laborers so that we can avoid adulteration then there will be drying which will be done in sun or else by using certain apparatus then there will be a garbling process in which we will remove all the other foreign materials then we will be packing it in a particular material and we will be marketing it all right thank you very much if you have any doubt please comment and uh, uh, thank you very much for your support uh, that uh, today i reached uh, uh, 300 subscribers mark uh, continue your support thank you very much